Incoming transmission. Commander Frying Bullet, Time of Chaos. Stardate 3303-0126-214323.232. Article, Phew, what a scorcher. Inhabitants of capital in the Arkner system have been donning hankies on their heads, rolling up their trousers, and some have even gone as far as tying their sweaters around their necks as solar flares from their superluminous star have raked across the system. Temperatures in excess of 23,000 degrees Kelvin have seared forth from the Type B star, raising background radiation levels by as much as 0.000874 Kelvin in the proximity of the hefty gravity well. Imperial Meteorological and Astrology Consulate Duke Bradbury Carnarfon was alarmed by the dramatic change in the solar activity. He said, this is conclusive proof of solar change, which has arisen as a direct result of indiscriminate scooping by stingy pilots who are too tight to fill up at Imperial ship refueling facilities. They're also Capricorns and should persevere with that special project they've been working on. Solar change has been hotly disputed by many in the scientific and talk show communities. This has led some to speculate that the sheer volume of hot air generated has skewed instrument readings to a point that solar cooling may be taking place, which is masked by all the background interference. Many in the debate have boiled over with fevered rage hollering that no one knows Zarking Shazbat about anything, except what they say because they said so. Galnet talk show pundit Lars Ley of the Hypergalactic Stellar Bodies Institute for Opinion Impartation said, I think this is something properly left to the scientific community for objective analysis so they can submit their hypotheses to the relevant published journals for peer scrutiny. We asked Lars to explain exactly what he was talking about, to which he responded, Yeah, you got me. Only kidding. Sun dive the crazy crispy boffins and we can catch some rays from that. Inhabitants of the neighbouring systems have noted that the range of solar activity experienced in Arkner is significantly less than experienced in systems with similar sized Class B stars. What a load of whinging yam flaps, said Commander Grunt of the cargo vessel Angel Sparkle. One lick of gamma radiation and they go running for their Factor 200 and spam the info relays with crud about how their skin is melted. They should try bouncing a Type 9 off a neutron star. This observation hasn't stopped pretty much all of the orange highlighted high volume info feeds from blazing reports across the galaxy on the simmering temperatures, usually accompanied by vidipics of beings in various reduced states of attire. In the case of the Solaris info feed, the vidipic was of a being who had gone as far as shaving their trumble. The system authorities are investigating. Genuwriter alert. Capricorns need not persevere with their projects as a tall dark stranger will sort it all out for them. This has been Commander Frying Bullet for the Galactic Broadcasting Corporation. Transmission ends.